Hi guys, it's Linda J here. I've got another $10 food haul. This is going to be uh, just enough food for one person for one week. We're trying to stick to that $10 budget, so we don't have a lot of food. This is not meant to be a nutritional uh, video by any means. It's, it's when we have those weeks where we don't have very much money to spend on groceries and to see what we can come up with. So with that uh, $10 food haul, there's not going to be a lot of variety but we're gonna see what we can come up with. So I did get the uh, chicken flavored ramen, the 12 pack. We have a dozen eggs. We have some uh, scallions and the pork sausage, Jiffy Mix, cheddar cheese, the can of mushrooms and the evaporated milk. And the reason why I got the evaporated milk was because it is cheaper than buying a half gallon of milk or even a, a whole gallon of milk. So we need that for the Jiffy Mix. And we're just going to add some water to that and thin it out and make it into milk. So I'm going to show you what I come up with for the three meals. We're going to do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Again, there won't be a whole lot of variety, but stay tuned and I'll show you what I come up with. Hi guys, here we are with the finished food products for this week. Remember, this was a $10 Aldi challenge. Uh, we have just enough food to make it on an emergency week where we don't have a lot to spend on groceries. So the breakfast, we have the Jiffy corn muffins. We did use the pork sausage in there. Now the recipe did call for 12 ounces of the ground pork sausage, and I had a full pound, so I kept some of that out. Um, we are going to use that with the ramen later. So for the breakfast, we had corn muffins, which used two eggs, some of the evaporated milk turned into milk, so you just add some water to it. And I did gr uh, grate up some of that cheese to add in there as well. So those you can have, it makes 24 of those muffins. So you can have three a day and have a couple left over. Or if you only need a couple a day, you're going to have some to have with lunch or dinner. So I cut one open so you could kind of see. And then for lunch and dinner... Um, with Aldi, the only way you can buy ramen noodles is to buy the 12 pack. So I had to get the same flavor. If you are going to buy it somewhere else, you can then get a little variety and pick some of the different flavors that they have. But since we have to go with what Aldi has, we have chicken flavored ramen. There's 12 of them, so we have six for lunch and six for dinner. So at least one of the days, um, I would take both of the last two maybe and make them together and then split it up for two meals so you have to do that for lunch as well as for dinner during the week at some point and then uh, I have a, a couple different variations here just to add a little something uh, this one I actually took the egg and mixed it in with the ramen so you can't really see the egg because it's more of a binder in there and then I added some of the canned mushrooms. And then we also have the soft boiled egg, which with the green onions looks delicious. And again with these, I did use a little bit of the evaporated milk turned into milk. So with a little water and just to give it a little creamy base. And then the other, for two of the nights, you're gonna have to use some of the pork sausage to get a little protein in with the noodles. So that's what I came up with. I know there are a ton of ramen variations, but with our limited budget, this is what I came up with. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this. Consider hitting that like and subscribe button if you're new here. And as always, if you already have subscribed, I appreciate you guys. I love you so much. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.